Welcome to the Velvet Room. I thought about resuming our previous conversation tonight. That is why I have summoned you. What are your thoughts? Are you becoming accustomed to this place? Ah, glad to hear it. It seems you have nerves of steel. The goal of your rehabilitation is to thwart the fated ruin. However, such a feat cannot be done by you alone. Today, you entered a partnership with someone who awoke to the same power. Did you? Involving yourself with others is an important foundation for your recovery. You've done well. That said, I am not advising the formation of superficial relationships. It must not be a frivolity, but a ring of those who would, by morals or faith, lend you their strength. In other words, they are bonds with those who have been robbed of their places to belong. The expansion of said ring will, in return, help you mature as well. Personas are the strength of heart. The stronger the bonds that surround you, the more power your personas will gain. There are countless people in the city who have talents that a weakling like you doesn't. You better rack that noggin of yours and get them on your side. We'll change that into power. Indeed, you should be prepared to use even myself, or your ambitions will not come to fruition. <laughs> we have a deal then. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the full persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. Understand it all in due time. Continue devoting yourself to your rehabilitation. Now this conversation's over. Get lost, inmate. How annoying. We've barely started high school and already they're making us play at a volleyball rally? And why are they pitting us against the teacher team? Kamoshida's gonna crush us. We get to see his technique live and in person, though. We should totally get spiked on. Yeah, okay. You're gonna get your face smashed in. Just look at how banged up the volleyball team is. What the hell goes on during their practices? Okay, quiet down. Sticks 
uh, hasn't changed a bit. Hmm? Uh, pretty boring. Right? Sorry. Hey, are you all right? Someone, take him to the nurse's office. You get that song. He'll pay soon enough. All right, let's resume the match. That asshole's acting like a king over here, too. Get to know each other better, my ass. It's just a one-man show for him to stroke his ego. Oh, oh, and how he acted like he was worried about Mishima. Oh, what an abusive D-bag. <sighs> well, anyways, now is our chance to go look for the guys we saw were slaves yesterday. Let's look for the faces we saw at the castle. All the members of the team should be here today. I'll be sure to find someone to spill about Kamoshida's physical abuse. Just you wait, asshole. Oh, you're coming with me too. The first one that popped out was a guy from Class D. So let's start from there. That's your class. Hopefully you can get him to talk without any issues. People have been avoiding me lately, so... Oh, but you're kind of in the same boat, huh? What? Are you... Hey, that's the guy who was over at that castle. You too, Sakamoto? What do you guys want? It's from practice. What does that have to do with anything? Kamoshida did it to you, right? Look, I ain't gonna tell anyone you squealed. Just tell us about how Kamoshida's abusing you. I... I don't know what you're talking about. I'm not! You guys are talking complete nonsense. Don't try and hide it. We already know. Y you know? You have proof. Well, uh, I... This is ridiculous. Please, leave me alone. You're really bothering me. <sighs> All right, that's enough. Come on, let's go. That injury ain't normal, and he still won't fess up. Crap. If we keep going at this pace, the ball game's gonna end. I guess that'd be faster. I'll check the practice building for people before clubs start. You handle the classroom building. There's a third year on the volleyball team that I remember. I think he's in... 3C? He was getting beat pretty badly at the castle. He might have some injuries here, too. Anyways, I'll hit you up if I find anything. See ya.
Where'd you hear that? They can't do it. For a sec. It'll be quick. Anyway, what's with you? Like how you were late the other day was a lie and all? There's that weird rumor about you, too. What do you want with him? Right back at you. You're not even in our class. We just happen to get to know each other. What are you planning on doing to Mr. Kamoshida? Huh? I see. I get ya. You're all buddy-buddy with Kamoshida after all. This has nothing to do with you, Sakamoto. If you found out what he's been doing behind your back, you'd dump him right away. Behind my back? What's that supposed to mean? <sighs> you wouldn't get it. Anyway, people are already talking about you two. I don't know what you're trying to pull, but no one's gonna help you. I'm warning you, just in case. That's all. Why she gotta be so aggressive all the time? Ah, we just went to the same middle school. Anyways, that's not what we're here to talk about. I had no luck on my end. What about you? Did anything like someone's name turn up? Special coaching, huh? True. I always see the guy covered in bruises. Let's go talk to him before he leaves then. Hey, got a second? Sakamoto? And you too. Come on, we just want to chat. Kamoshida's been coaching you, huh? You sure it's not just physical abuse? Certainly not. What are you talking all polite for? Anyways, we saw him spike you today, right in the face. That was just because I'm not good at the sport. Still, that doesn't explain all the other bruises you've got. They're from practice. Is he forcing you to keep quiet? That's... What's going on here? Mishima, isn't it time for practice? I'm not feeling well today. What? Maybe you're better off quitting then. You're never going to improve that crappy form unless you show up to practice. Didn't you hear? He ain't feeling well. Well, Mishima, are you coming to practice or not? I'll go. As for you, any more trouble and you'll be gone from the school for sure. Bastard. Same goes for you. Didn't the principal tell you to keep in line? <laughs> Just don't get in the way of my practice. All these unsettling rumors are making the students anxious after all. That's your own goddamn fault. <laughs> this won't get us anywhere. Let's go, Mishima. Shujin Academy is a place where those with aspirations come to learn. Unworthy students like yourselves don't have any right to be here. Get with the program. Yes, sir. That asshole. He's gonna pay for this. There's no point. Huh? Proving that he's physically abusing us is meaningless. Everybody knows. The principal, our parents, they all know and they all keep quiet about it. This has got to be a joke! Don't be a pain. You don't understand what I'm going through. Shouldn't you of all people know that nothing's going to help? <sighs> Damn it. I'll 
try one more time to persuade the other guys. That's all I can do. Shouldn't you be heading to volleyball? Uh-huh. That bruise above your eye. Is that from practice, too? Y yeah Are you sure you're not pushing yourself too hard? I'm okay. Volleyball's the only thing I can do right. Shouldn't you take that? It's probably just my part-time job. I should get going. Shiho. Um, are you sure you're okay? Uh huh. Yes. T today won't work. I'm. I'm not feeling so good. Sorry. Bye. Hey, wasn't that Takamaki? Rumor has it she's dating Kamoshida. Seriously? I heard people saw them in his car together. You know, she seems pretty easy, huh? You think I'd have a chance to? Come on, dude. You can't go after Kamoshida's bitch. <sighs> what? Uh, oh, I'm in the way, aren't I? Sorry. Um, well... Hmm, you don't look familiar. Could you be that transfer student from Class D? Um, this might not be any of my business, but don't let the rumors get to you, okay? Well, I've helped with a similar situation before. My best friend is often misunderstood too, all because of her looks. Uh, sorry, I didn't mean to drag on like that. Anyway, I have to go to practice. I'll see you around. Damn it, what the hell? <sighs> Is that 
that what it looks like? All of them kept saying the same shit Mishima was talking about. Kamoshida had to have told him something. At this rate, looks like we'll have to go to him directly. I know. But seriously, isn't there something we can do? No way I'm gonna give in like this. Can you think of anything? Oh, that'd be fine if we could do it without getting caught, but if we did, we'd be seriously done for. You got any other ideas? So you want to tell them about the castle? They'd never believe us. <sighs> Have any other ideas? What do we do? The king? You mean that other world's Kamoshida? I didn't think of that, but is there any meaning to... I finally found you! You say something? Don't think you can get away with not paying me back for helping you. That voice... Is that you, Morgana? How dare you up and leaving me the other day! The cat's talking? I am NOT a cat! This is just what happened when I came to this world. It was a lot of trouble finding you two. Wait, you came to our world? <gasps> Does that mean you've got a phone? You don't need one when you're at my level. I did get pretty lost making my escape, though. That aside, why can you talk? You're a cat! How should I know? You hearing this, too? This is no time to be joking around! You guys are having a rough time of this, hmm. I heard you mention something about witnesses. Oh, shut up! You know, I could tell you a thing or two about what to do about Kamashita. You were pretty close just a moment ago. God, that condescending attitude. This thing's gotta be Morgana. You were still doubting me? Quiet down! Uh, we really have to be looking for a cat in a busy time like this? I just heard a meow somewhere near here. Didn't you hear it? Uh, make sure you check every nook and cranny around. Meow? Does that mean only us two can understand what you're saying? Looks like it. What the hell's going on? Anyways, what you were talking about earlier, is it for real? You're quite the skeptic for being an idiot. Hey, tell us more. Then again, this probably ain't the best place. Here, stick it in your bag for now. It should be just small enough to fit. Hey, how dare you treat me like... Don't be so rough with me. Enough of that. You said you know how we can do something about Kamoshida, right? It has to do with what this guy was talking about earlier. You'll need to attack his castle. What do you mean? That castle is how Kamoshida views this school. He doesn't realize what happens in there, but it's deeply connected to the depths of his heart. Thus, if the castle disappears, it would naturally impact the real Kamoshida. What had happened? A palace is a manifestation of a person's distorted desires. So, if that castle were no more... Precisely. You sure pick up things fast. For real? He he's gonna turn good? But is that really getting back at him? Erasing a palace essentially means forcing the owner to have a change of heart. However, even though their warped wants disappear, the crimes they committed remain. Kamoshida will become unable to bear the weight of those crimes, and he'll confess them himself. You for real? That's possible? And since the palace will no longer exist, he'll forget what we did there as well. Not only will we be able to bring Kamoshida down, but there won't even be a trace of our involvement. That's amazing! You are one incredible cat! True. Except for the cat part. 
So, how do we get rid of the palace? By stealing the treasure held within. Stealing? I'll tell you more once you agree to go ahead with this. It's my most valuable secret plan, after all. If you want to help me out, I'll gladly teach you. What's your call? Alex running dry looking for witnesses. Guess we have no choice but to go along. Good. Oh, right. There's one more thing I should tell you. If we erase a palace, there is no doubt that the person's distorted desires will be erased as well. But desires are what we all need in order to survive. The will to sleep, eat, fall in love, those sorts of things. What are you getting at? If all of those yearnings were to vanish, they'd be no different than someone who is shut down entirely. They may even die if they're not given proper care. So... They might die! Will you listen to everything I have to say first? Would their death be our fault? Aren't you determined enough to face those kinds of risks? Hey, what do you think? For real? Sheesh. I come all this way and this is what I get. It's not like anyone will ever find out. That's not the point! If we just go around secretly doing whatever we want, we'd be no better than that effing Kamoshida! <sighs> Isn't this your only option? I'll come back later. Make sure you've made your decision by then. Man, we're getting all worked up for nothing. Damn it! I'll try and see if I can figure out another way. Come on, let's get out of here. Give it a rest? I told you, I'm not feeling up to it. Wait, what? That's not what you promised. And you call yourself a teacher? This has nothing to do with Shiho. Uh, uh. 
Shiho's starting position. Wait, were you listening? <sighs> Haven't you heard of privacy? <sighs> no, I was out of line. Sorry. So, how much did you hear? You see, that is true. It's nothing at all. Nothing. about me. <laughs> what the heck? I really don't get you. I don't have anything to talk about with you. It was just an argument. You've heard the rumors, haven't you? About Mr. Kamoshida. Everyone says we're getting it on. But that's so not true. <clears throat> that was him on the other line. I avoided giving him my number for the longest time. He told me to go to his place after this. <sighs> you know what it means. If I turn him down, he said he'd take my friend off as a regular on the team. I've been telling myself this is all for Shiho's sake. I can't take it anymore. Uh, uh... I've had enough of this. I hate him. But still, Shiho's my best friend. She's all I have left in that sorry excuse of a school. Tell me, what should I do? I shouldn't have asked. It's not your problem. <laughs> what? What am I saying? I barely even talked to you before. You might be right. You're so weird. Usually everyone just ignores me. Are you really a bad person? I've heard people talking about you, but I just don't see it. <laughs> Is that supposed to be a joke? I kinda had a feeling they were all just exaggerations. You seemed lonely. Almost like you didn't belong anywhere. You're the same in that regard. Maybe that's why it was so easy for me to talk to you. Is there really no way for me to help Shio? I wish he'd just change his mind. Like, forget about me and everything. As if something like that would ever happen. I wasn't asking for a serious response. But I do feel a bit better now. I'm gonna head home.
Don't tell anyone what I told you, okay? I'll try and think of a way to persuade Kamoshida. Well... Thanks. Suzui... Are you leaving? What is it? Mr. Kamoshida's asking for you. He's in the PE faculty office. What did he say? I don't know. Well, I have to go. <laughs> On. You're late. Where have you been? Just don't come running to me when you get arrested. That'll be it for you, remember? By the way, you haven't been hanging around any bad influences, have you? Huh. Well, they've got to be pretty strange to want to spend time with you. Just make sure you're careful who your friends are, if you don't want them ruining your life. Ooh, look at the time. Seriously, think about how I feel having to stay up here waiting for you. Hey, I'm leaving. In the future, try not to come back so damn late. Understood? So I assume all of you know about the separation of powers. There are three branches in our government. The National Diet is legislative, the Cabinet is executive, and the Supreme Court is judiciary. This division of power provides checks and balances, which ensures no one branch becomes unstoppable. Have you made up your mind? No matter how much thinking you do, there's only one option. You'd be better off just listening to me. Did I just hear a cat just now? <coughs> Meow! Hmm. Could that rumored cat be somewhere nearby? Settle down! We're in the middle of an important lecture. If you only knew I'm reading this too. What's that? Enough! This is a classroom! Wait, she's going to jump! Suzui? Shiho? For real? Come Who on, let's go. It? Hey, stay in your seats! Do not step foot outside of this room! No way! Huh? Is she gonna commit suicide? It's Suzui! Shio Suzui! Huh? Suzui, hey, son! Let's go look! Oh, my God. <gasps> 
Courtyard too. Hey, let me through. Let me through, man. Please. People. We need someone to go with her. Are there any teachers around? Uh, I'm not in charge of her class, though. Well, we should leave this to Principal Kobayakawa. I'll go! Please hurry! Shio... Why? Mon, I'm sorry. I... can't take this. Anymore. Shio? Huh? Kamoshida? Huh? No! Shio! Volleyball team. Return to your classrooms at once! <gasps> that guy... Hey, wasn't Mishima acting weird? We're gonna make him talk this time. Teachers, return to your classrooms for the time being. Please do not let any students go home yet. Why'd you run like that, huh? I didn't run. She jumped and tried to kill herself! <laughs> Leave me alone. He's right. We ain't trying to get you busted. We won't say you talked either. Susui. She was called out by Mr. Kamashita! Wait, what? I was called by him a number of times, too. To the teacher's room. It wasn't just me or Suzui, either. He'd nominate someone when he was in a bad mood, and hit them. So the physical punishment thing was for real. Yesterday, he called Suzui out of the blue. She didn't make any mistakes or anything. Mr. Kamashita seemed really irritated that day. So it must have been. Worse than usual. He didn't... That son of a bitch! Uh... I bet... Sakamoto's going to find Mr. Kamoshida. Mr. Kamoshida's probably in the PE faculty office on the second floor. He went into the PE faculty office. Let's hurry. We have to go after... talking about don't play dumb with me that is enough what you did was in coaching what did you say 
you. You ordered me to call Suzui here. I can only imagine what you did to her. You're going on and on about things you have no proof of. Basically, you're simply making these claims because you can't be a regular on the team, right? That's not what this is about! Even if it is exactly as you imagine it to be, hypothetically speaking, what can you do? We just received a call from the hospital. Suzui's in a coma, and her chances of recovery are slim. How would someone like that make a statement? There's no chance of her getting better, I hear. Oh, the poor girl. No. I can't be. You goddamn! This again? Does this mean we need to have yet another case of self-defense? You shut your mouth, you son of a bitch! Why are you stopping me? But still! Oh, you're stopping him? What a surprise. There's no need to hold back. Why not attack me? Oh, you can. <laughs> but of course you can. Everyone present right now will be expelled. I'm reporting all of you at the next board meeting. What? You can't make a decision like that! Who would seriously consider what scum like you say? You threaten me too, Mishima, so you're just as responsible. Huh? To think you didn't know why I kept someone as talentless as you on the team. You act like you're a victim. But you leaked his criminal records, didn't you? It's all over the internet, correct? How terrible. Mishima? He told me to do it. I had no choice. <laughs> now, are we finished here? You're all expelled. You're done for. Your futures are mine to take. Now get out of my sight. I can't believe this asshole's getting away with this! Huh? Oh, right! We have that! Huh? Have you lost your minds? You worthless kids aren't making any sense. But sure, go ahead and try. After all, you'll have plenty of time to kill until expulsion. Can't waste any time. We gotta hurry up and go to that world and beat the shit out of that asshole. We're not beating him up. We're simply stealing his distorted desires. Can I assume that you've made up your minds about this? About how he might suffer a mental shutdown? I have. Someone almost died because of him. I don't give a rat's ass what happens to him anymore. And you? Then it's settled. By the way, is getting rid of a palace hard? You've tried it before, right? When did I ever say that? Huh? What? Were you just pretending to know? Is it true that you're getting expelled? Everyone's talking about it. That asshole's at it again. So you came all this way to tell us that? If you're going to deal with Kamoshida, let me in on it too. I can't just sit back and do nothing after what happened to Shiho. This has nothing to do with you. Don't butt your head into this. But it does! Shiho's my... I said don't get in our way! <sighs> that was harsh. We can't take her somewhere like that. I hope she doesn't do anything too crazy. Women can be much bolder than men at times. We just gotta hurry up and deal with Kamoshida. Let's go already! The moment we cross over, we'll treat each other like phantom thieves. So I hope you're ready. Uh-huh. Phantom thieves? 
those who covertly sneak in and stylishly steal treasure. That is what we become. <laughs> that sounds kind of cool. So we just gotta say the school, Kamoshida's name, and castle. And then we end up in Bizarro World. How the hell's all this work? Someone make it? <laughs> That's kind of creepy, but uh, eh, seems useful enough. We'll show that effing Kamoshida. Let's go. They really are going to do something. They're doing something on their phone? A name... school? Huh? All right, time to bust on through. What is this? Tsukamaki? That voice, Sakamoto? And are you? Wh why are you here? How should I know? What's going on? Hey, where are we? Isn't this the school? I see. Perhaps she was dragged in because of that app thing. If multiple people can enter with the person who uses it, it stands to reason it'll pull anyone nearby. For real? Wait, so this is related to Kamoshida? Anyways, you gotta leave! No! The shadows are going to find us if you make a scene. No way! It's hot! Oh my god, it's a monster cat! Monster? You better explain what's going on! I won't leave until you do! <sighs> Looks like we gotta force her. But how are we supposed to do that? Just take her back to where we came in. That's how it worked last time, right? Oh, oh yeah! Can you lend me a hand? What are you... We'll explain after everything's over. And just where are you touching? Whoa, sorry, I didn't mean... That's not important. You guys, seriously? Ah! <sighs> we better be careful from now on when we use that app. You should have checked the tools you used. Why do I, the one who was just watching, know more about it than you two? Shut up. Jeez, Takamaki found out right when we were starting off. We gotta deal with this fast. That girl's name is An Takamaki, right? Lady An. The shadows have noticed us. You better brace yourselves, got it? We're counting on you, Joker. Joker? Not a nickname? Don't refer to it in such a lame way. It's a code name. What kind of stupid phantom thief would use their real name? I'm not down for that. And there's no telling what kind of effect yelling our real names will have on the palace. It's just a precaution. So, uh, why is he Joker? Because he's our trump card when it comes to fighting strength. It's settled then. Next up is you, Ryuji. You'll be... Let's see. Thug. Are you picking a fight with me? Yeah, I'll choose it myself! <laughs> when it comes to me, it's gotta be this mask. Honestly, I actually kinda like it. What if we named me after this? Fine. Why not Skull, then? Oh, that sounds awesome! <laughs> I'm Skull! What do we do about this one's code name? How about... Mona? Well, if Joker thinks it's easier to call me that, then I'll go with it. Alright, from here on out, we are Joker, Skull, and Mona. We need to be absolutely thorough about using those code names from now on. Uh, 
All right, time to go steal this treasure thing. Let's make a dash for it. Hey, look, ain't that... Those intruders the other day were quite entertaining. However, I can't allow that trash to ransack my castle! Strike to the security, kill them on sight! I'll reward whoever brings me their heads. Praise be to King Kamashida! Death to the intruders! Hey, Mona, can't we just beat the crap out of him and call it a day? Look at all those soldiers, idiot! It'd be suicide! And I'm sure you don't want a repeat of last time. Besides, don't you want him to confess his sins? There's no point beating him up. We need to steal his materialized desires. The treasure. Fine, uh, so where is it? It has to be somewhere in the depths of this castle. Let's infiltrate further in while he's out here. Remember how I taught you hold-ups and all-out attacks? I'll teach you their practical use now. There's another use for hold-ups, besides simply defeating enemies. Shadows are beings born from people's hearts, so naturally they can talk, too. In other words, you can communicate with them. Get it? If you talk to them when they're cornered, they might offer money or items since they don't want to die. In fact, talking has a better chance of scoring something great, as opposed to just offing them. Well then, let's do the first step. Knock all the enemies down and do a hold-up! Oh, knock down! That was incredible, Joker! Well, something along those lines. Now let it be money or items. Just cough it up. Sorry! Well, wait, what? Hmm. This isn't how I was planning this to go. Uh, if that's the case... I guess it's time for you to go to hell. Uh, for... Sorry, but we're in a hurry. What the? What's going on? Cool! I am thou! Thou art I! What was that just now? What happened? For real?
that the shadow from earlier? Don't tell me. Did you take in the shadow's appearance and powers as a persona? Let's go. Go down! Yeah, fine. Bless kill. Do. He sealed the enemy's appearance and powers into his mask and made it his new persona. Is such a feat even possible? Even I've never seen anyone pull that off. Only one heart exists per person. So normally a person can only have one persona. Incredible! That ability will give us a huge advantage in battle. All right, try to do that even more if the opportunity arises. You better help out too, Skull. Hell yeah! We'll hold every last one of them up! <laughs> I like you even more now. I really do have something special after all. chest. Why don't we crack it open? I'll reveal your true form. Feel your Who true you? form. Now's our chance to Let's go. go. Rabbit trap. Looking cool, Come. Joker. There. Woo. Looking cool, Joker. Yeah, fine. Give me a break. Hey! Hey! 
place from earlier. What's up with this app? Just said the word Sakamoto said and I ended up... Princess? Huh? Princess! Ah! Aren't there even more shadows here than before? Just getting this far has been a real pain in my ass. It's all because you guys provoked Kamoshida, you know. Still, he seems to be awfully on guard. Anyways, how are we supposed to steal that treasure thing? Don't be so hasty. First, we'll need to secure an infiltration route. A what? A path to the treasure's location. But honestly, I think we'll need a little more manpower in order to accomplish this. At the very least, one more person would be nice. Hey, you say you don't have your memories and all, but somehow you still know about that kind of stuff? Do you think this thing's really got amnesia? At least you're a step above that moron. Don't call me a moron! You sure talk big, but what if it turns out you're just some stray cat in the end? That can't be. Still, why was a princess in such an odd place? Princess? I could have sworn we were pursuing the readings of an intruder. It doesn't matter now. We must take her back to King Kamashita. Who's this princess they're talking about? I should probably look into this. And yet another question goes unanswered. Stuff like the castle and that navigation app are mysterious, <laughs> but Morgana's got them both beat. Oh, crap! Sorry! What was I again? Oh, yeah, a uh, skull. This is bad. That was fast. Your friend, Lady On. She's been taken by shadows! Wait, what? We sent her home earlier. If Lady On does indeed have the app, it could be possible. Oh no. Don't tell me it got put on hers just like mine. Damn it! We let her out for her own safety and she just came back in by herself. Damn it!
hurry. We have to save her. Now then. Yes! <laughs> What's all this about? Seriously, I'm gonna call the cops! So, this is the intruder. Hamoshida? Who's that? More importantly, what is this place? Why is the school turned into something like this? I can't believe you mistook my aunt for someone like her. <laughs> Are you afraid? What is that outfit? Have you lost your mind? I do as I please here. After all, this is my castle. The world of my desires. What the? Wait, is this some red light district? What a lively slave. This isn't funny! Enough of the bullshit, Kamoshida! <laughs> The girls decided to tell me off. What do you think of that? Talking back is like totally unforgivable. In that case, she should be executed. <gasps> now then, how should I play with you? Shall I tear you into little pieces? Are you kidding me? is effed up. Is that what he thinks of the girls on the volleyball team? Hey, that's... Takamaki! Just when I was about to start enjoying myself. What's the deal with this guy? You little... How many times are you gonna come back? I bet you just like those thieves. You came because you're pissed at me, huh? But, uh, ah, I forget that chick's name, but it's your fault she jumped, you know. Huh? You were so reluctant to throw yourself onto me that I had her take your place. You bastard! <laughs> no! Take one more step and I'll kill her on the spot. Damn it! Just sit back and enjoy the dismantlement show. No, don't! Maybe I'll start with her clothes. <laughs> You're such a perv! Hey, what are we gonna do? Takamaki! Is this... my punishment for what happened to Shio? That's more like it. You should have looked like this from the start. Shio... I'm so sorry. Huh? No. I don't want that. You're right. Letting this piece of shit toy with me... <laughs> What was I thinking? It's like I always say, slaves should just behave and... Shut up! I've had enough of this. You pissed me off, you son of a bitch! My, it's taken far too long. Uh, uh, Tell me, who is going to avenge her if you don't? Forgiving him was never the option. Such is the scream of the other you that dwells in me. I am thou, thou art I. We can finally forge a contract. I hear you, Carmen. You're right! No more holding back! <laughs> there you go. Nothing can be solved by restraining yourself. Understand? Then I'll gladly lend you my strength. <laughs> Ah! 
<laughs> you know what? I'm not some cheap girl you can toy with, you scumbag. Bitch! You stole everything from Shiko. You destroyed her. Now it's your turn! I will rob you of everything! How dare you! Enough of your insolence! No, I've had enough of you! No one's gonna stop me now! Let's go, Carmen! How dare you deny King Kamoshida's love, you selfish lass! Pay for this insolence with your life! That dirtbag just sees women as sexual outlets! Don't make me laugh with that! Come on, Carmen! Let's give him hell! Persona! Damn, Carmen! You did it! They've fallen flat! Joker. There! We're on the ground! Nice going, Skull! here, man. And more importantly, how? Hey, is that how you speak to a woman? Are you all right, Lady On? Lady On? Wait, what is this thing? Is it alive? How can it talk? And where in the world are we? J just calm down. Everything's going to be okay. Don't worry. How am I supposed to calm down? Huh? Why am I 
I'm dressed like this? When did I... Uh, what's with this? Huh? What are you talking about? What the hell are you thinking? Well, I'm stumped. A search party will be coming for us soon. There's no time to explain. We don't have a choice. Let's retreat for now. We were just getting fired up and you had to go and get in the way. <sighs> Fine. Here, give me your arm. You take the other side. Mm, thanks. Looks like we made it back. Hey, are you okay? Well, pretty much. Wait, I lied. I'm still confused about all of this. You may be safe now, but a lot sure did happen back there. At any rate, we stand out too much here. Let's relocate to a safer spot. Which one you want? Whichever's not carbonated. Uh, they're both, actually. Then... Here you go. What about me? Huh? But uh, you're a cat. <laughs> Have you calmed down, Lady On? Um... Morgana, right? I really am talking to a cat. <sighs> this feels so strange. Oh, sorry. You're not a cat, right? It's only natural that you're confused. Demanding that you understand all of this right after what you went through is asking too much. Honestly, I still can't believe what happened. And that power... My persona... It's the will of your rebellion, Lady On. With it, you'll be able to fight in that other world. So if what you told me is true, we can make Kamoshida have a change of heart, right? Is it really possible? Can we actually force him to confess his crimes? The volleyball team's keeping quiet about this while teachers and parents turn a blind eye. If guys like us try and complain, they're just gonna shoot us down. Going all in on this plan is the only choice we got. Then let me help too. I want to make him pay for what happened to Shiho. He just keeps going like nothing happened, even after what he did to her. I'll never forgive him. Wait, did you just say, let me help? You mean you want us to take you along? Don't act like I'm going to drag you down. Weren't you watching? I can fight too. Hey, what should we do? I agree as well. We are lacking in manpower after all. Don't worry. I'll protect her. Even if you said no, I'd just go in alone. Ah, right. She can go by herself. I guess it'd be more dangerous turning her down. Ah, fine. Then it's decided. Well, <laughs> I hope we get along. I'm going to make Kamoshida atone for what he did. Not just for Shiho's sake but for everything he's done. I won't let any more people suffer because of him. I'll do whatever it takes. A group like yours must have relied on subtlety and misdirection. Otherwise, you'd never survive. Some of you might even have been hiding behind a public face their entire lives. If you're listening, then answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. 
With the birth of the lover's persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. Just let me know when you're heading back in. Oh, wait. We don't have each other's info. Hey, give me your number and chat ID. And, um... I'll be counting on you then. Same goes for you, Morgana. The pleasure is all mine, Lady On. What a kind girl. Such admirable consideration for others. And the innocence to cast herself into the jaws of death to achieve her goal. She cares about her friends and she's beautiful to boot. What a girl. She's captured my heart. Dude. You know, it'd be better if this group could get together quick from now on. True. Our best option would be to make a secret hideout where we could discuss these things. A hideout, huh? I like the sound of that. The school rooftop would work. It seems like nobody goes up there. For the time being, that will make the perfect hideout. I can't contact you from inside a palace, so I'll stay in this world. That being said, I'll need someone to take care of me. I'm personally nominating you. You should feel honored. This is all you. There's no way I can at my place. The train will be arriving. Well, we now have our hideout, so let's meet there tomorrow. Okay, let's go look at my new residence for this world. Stay upstairs while we're open for business. Yes? Hey, lay off the customers. Sorry if he was rude, Doctor. I don't mind. Come on, you're getting in the way. Go on upstairs. Thanks. I'll see you later. Come back again. That's it for today. Oh, that customer just now? She's the head doctor over at that clinic down the street. Rumor has it she gives pretty crappy examinations and sells some weird homemade medicines on top of that. At least, that's what I've heard. I haven't been there myself. They should really just leave her alone. It's not like she's getting in the way of their lives. Hey, are we there yet? <sighs> Well, I gotta get home and start making dinner. What the? What is this place? Is this some kind of abandoned house? Hey, are you? I was wondering why I heard meowing. What did you bring it here for? That's... that's a shame. Look, this place is a restaurant. Animals are a no-go. Though, I guess you might stay on good behavior if you've got a pet to take care of. Fine, but keep it quiet when we're open for business. And don't let it roam downstairs, or I'll toss it out. Oh, and I'm not gonna take care of it. That's all on you. Was that the ruler of this place? He seemed pretty understanding for someone who keeps you cramped up in this dump. Then again, I suppose to normal people I just sound like a meowing cat. <sighs> Seriously, I had to keep calling out in that cute little voice. Make sure you wash that dish. By the way, uh, have you decided on a name? Morgana? Huh. I was hoping I'd get to name it. Looks like the Chief likes me better than you. And to be honest, 
This place is heaven compared to Kamoshida's cells. Remember how you guys asked me before about what I am? To be honest, I don't remember anything about my birth. I think the metaverse's distortions made me lose both my memories and my true form. It has to be. I mean, why else would a cat be able to talk like this? There's no other possible explanation. There's no doubt that the distortions were what caused me to lose my real self. I'm sure that once they're purged, I'll finally be able to get that self back. And I have a pretty good idea on how to do it, too. That's why I was in the castle in the first place. Come to think of it, I didn't get hungry over in that world. Let me make myself clear. Your taking care of me won't be for nothing. It'll be give and take, due to my knowledgeable and dexterous nature. I have a lot of intel on infiltration tools. Whoa. I can't tell you more unless we settle on a deal. In exchange for you keeping me here, I'll teach you about these tools. How does that sound? I like that answer. <laughs> Then it's a deal. Skillful infiltrations and escapes to all manner of places. There's even the possibility that you use special tools and had someone who manufactured them. Answer me. I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast acquired a new vow. It shall become the wings of rebellion that breaketh thy chains of captivity. With the birth of the magician persona, I have obtained the winds of blessing that shall lead to freedom and new power. All right. I'll lecture you about the infiltration tools over time. By the way, the power you used in the palace was seriously amazing. The stronger that power gets, the more reliable it'll be as a trump card. All right, I'm gonna stick with you wherever you go from today on. Personas are the strength born from one's heart. Depending on what kind of life experience you gain, I bet it'll affect that power as well. And if you become acquainted with capable people, you might learn various useful skills too. This is all part of our deal. Got it? I expect great things from you. Don't let me down, okay? messages to each other with that thing, right? I want in too, so I'm gonna have to ask you to type for me. <sighs> oh! <laughs> 